If you run any kind of WordPress site that encourages visitors engagement, perhaps you have a membership site, an e-commerce store, or even a blog where users can comment on posts, articles, and products, then you may have realized that the WordPress commenting feature is a little limited. And by limited, I mean limited to text only. Well, there is a way to change all that. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, this video is definitely for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the commenting feature in WordPress to allow visitors to upload images to their comments. Make sure you watch this video to the very end because it's not just images we cover. We're also gonna look at how to embed videos and other content in your comments with the exact same plugin. Let's jump right in. So first things first, this is the demo site we're gonna be using for this video. It's a WooCommerce based online store. And this is a product page on that store. And if I scroll down just a little bit, then you'll see right next to the description here, there's a place for people to leave reviews. So at, currently at the moment, people can leave a star rating, a comment review, their name and email address, and then click submit. And that will show up here on the left hand side. So what we're going to do with this is open up the functionality of commenting on this website and allow users to upload images, videos of them using the products so that it gives a lot more social proof to the products that we're selling on our site and hopefully will increase sales, encourage people to buy that product as well. So let's jump over to the WordPress dashboard. Now we're in the dashboard. First thing to do is to install the DCO comment attachment plugin. So to do that, we're gonna head over to plugins, hover over that and click on add new. Then up in the search bar up here, just write DCO. This is the DCO comment attachment plugin right here. Just click install now. And once that plugin's installed, we're gonna click the activate button. Now we can see the plugins activated because we're on the plugins page and we can see it right here. We can click the settings link right here to go to the settings, but also you can find that if you hover over settings here, DCO comment attachment is just here. Click on that. Now we're going to go through each one of these settings and I'm going to show you what that looks like on the live site as well. So you can see the comparison of what these settings will do to the comment section on that product page. So the first thing to look at here is the maximum upload file size. So that's currently set to 300 megabytes. And as you can see, it says currently your server allows you to upload files of up to 300 megabytes. Now this number is gonna change for you depending on the kind of media you're gonna allow your user to upload. So if it's images and, and things like that, it might be a smaller number. You also have to think about the amount of server space that you have as well. I take that into consideration when you pick that number. So just put the number in there that you want Below that, you can see there's a question, is the attachment required? So is the attachment required for the user to post a comment? So if you want every comment to have an attachment of an image, a video, or a media file, or a document, or something like that, then just check this box right here. So now we move on to embed attachment. And if I just uncheck this box right here and click Save Changes, I'm gonna show you what that looks like on the website. So I'm on the site in an incognito window, which means I'm not logged in at all. I'm just gonna refresh the page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly write a comment and upload an image and show you what that looks like when it's not embedded in the comment. Give it a five star review. I add my name in and an email and just click the choose file button and add your file. So now I've added the file, I can click the submit button. So as you can see, the comment has been posted here, but there is a link, not an embedded image in the comment. So if you click on that, it's gonna open the full image up and away from the site. So I don't think this looks very good. I don't particularly like how this looks on my site. So I'm gonna change that. So if I head back to the dashboard and now I'm on the dashboard, I'm just gonna click on embed attachment and I'm gonna go down to save changes, then head back to that page. So now I'm back on this page, I'm just gonna refresh it. And as you can see, it looks much better. It's an embedded picture on the comment. Now we go back to the dashboard. So the auto embed links in comments text, I'm just gonna leave that unchecked for a minute. We'll look at this later on in the video. The attachment image size, so we currently have it set to medium size. You can choose a thumbnail size and there are other sizes that you can choose as well. I'm quite happy with the medium size, so I'm gonna keep that. So the link thumbnail setting right here is basically if the user clicks on the thumbnail in the comment. So if you have a Lightbox plugin support on your website, you can choose that right there. And then once the image is clicked on in the comment, it'll open up in a nice light box and people can see it in the full size image. I haven't got that functionality. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Now we move on to the multiple upload section. So if you check this box, that's gonna allow them to upload multiple files at once in their comment. Below that, there's an option to combine the images into a gallery, and that's currently checked. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now on the website. So I'm gonna click on Save Changes, 
And on the site here, I'm just going to refresh this page. I'm going to add in another review. And then I'm going to choose multiple files from my computer to add. So I've chose three image files right there. I'm just going to click submit. And as you can see, the three files are nicely displayed in that comment there. So that allows people to upload multiple images in their comments and it looks really nice in a gallery kind of form. If you uncheck the box for combine in images into a gallery and you just click save changes for that and we refresh the page on the website, now you can see it stacked the images on top of each other there. Heading back to the dashboard, so I'm going to click combine the images into a gallery and then you can also choose the gallery image size. So we had it in a thumbnail size and they've, it's cropped the images. You can choose to have it in a medium size and that won't crop the images. This is what that looks like on the page as well. So it adds a really nice gallery feature to the comments for images. So we keep that as it is. And then just below the multiple uploads section is the permissions. And this is where it gets really interesting. So you can choose the kind of files that people can upload to the comments. So there's image files, audio files, video files, documents like PDFs, PSDs, and docs from Word, spreadsheet files, interactive files like PowerPoint files, text files, archive files, bits of code, and other files as well. Just as a little note here, the one star asterisk next to any of the files is available for embedding. So that means that you can embed image files and audio files and some video files as well. And they will show up as the, as the embedded file in the comment rather than the link. The two star asterisk here is allowed for administrators and editors only. So people that are logged into your site with the administrator or editor role that might be replying to comments that people leave on the website, they have a little bit more functionality than everyone else. Below that, who can upload an attachment? So at the moment we've got all users that can upload the attachment. If I click on only logged in users and click on save changes and we go back to the website and we just refresh the page, we can now see that as we're not logged in because we're using an incognito window, the upload feature has now been taken away. So only people that are logged into the site can upload images or embed videos and things like that into their comments. So that adds a little bit more security and protection for you and gives the users that are actually signed into the site a little bit more features than everybody else. So the next option I would totally encourage everyone to check, which is to manually moderate the comments with attachments. So that means anyone that uploads attachments to the website, you will have to manually check those comments first and the attachments just in case there's anything that shouldn't be uploaded to a comment that's been uploaded. And you can get rid of that before it even hits the website. So I would always check that box just so that you can see each comment before they go out. In the admin panel section of things, delete attachment when comment is deleted so that if you don't want the attachments to stay in your media library, if you delete the comments, then keep that checked. I'm gonna keep it checked. And then delete attachments action on the edit comments page. I'll keep that checked as well and save those changes. So now we've covered all the settings apart from one, which is the auto embed links in comments text. So I'm going to check this box and that's going to allow users to embed content from YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and other social media platforms as well directly into their comments. So I'm just going to click save changes on that and then show you what that looks like on the site as well. I'm going to scroll down to this comment section, add a review in and underneath that text I'm just going to add a link to a YouTube video. And as you can see, that's now embedded the YouTube video into the comment. So we can play that video directly in the comment section. So if someone's created a review for a product or has maybe has a support issue that needs addressing, people can add links from their videos from YouTube, Facebook and things like that directly to the comments so they don't have to upload the videos to your site. So as you can see, that's a really powerful tool to have in your WordPress toolbox, especially if you're running sites where you're encouraging visitors to interact with you in the comments. Speaking of comments, drop us one below if you like this video. If you fancy learning more about WordPress, then check this video out next and also subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.